Good day, people. Today is the day that you are going to learn to tell time using an analog clock. Telling time on this type of clock is a skill that almost every adult has, and you should have it too. So let's get started. Here is our clock. It's numbered 1 to 12 to show the hours of the day. The pointers on the clock are called hands, and this is the little hand, and it tells you what hour it is. Since the hand is pointed to 2, it must be 2 o'clock. Now what hour is it? If you said 5 o'clock, you're exactly right. Now what hour is it? If you said it's still 5 o'clock, you're right. The hour does not change until the little hand is pointing right at the next number. So it would have to be all the way on the 6 for it to be 6 o'clock or after 6 o'clock. Let's try one more. What is the hour now? If you said the hour is 11, you are correct. Anything between 11 and 12 is going to be 11 o'clock. Now we're going to add the minute hand to our clock. The clock has two hands, a big hand and a little hand. We already know that the little hand tells the hour, and now you know that the big hand tells the minutes. When we're telling time, we always look at the hour hand first, the little hand first. So this is pointing at the 2, so we know it is 2 o'clock. The minute hand is on the 3. Is it 203? No, because the minute hand is measured by these small marks that are all the way around the inside of the clock. And those are the minutes. And so we could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we would know that it's 215. But on this clock, which is a special kind of clock that you can learn with, the fives are written around the outside edge of the clock. And so it's pretty easy to know that the hour is 2 and the minutes are 2.15. And so this clock is showing 2.15. Most clocks and watches you come across in life will not have these fives around the outside edge. You'll need to remember to count by fives as you go around until one day you'll have all the positions on the clock memorized and you won't need to count anymore. What time is it now? The hour hand is at the 12, and the minute hand is on the 2. So 5, 10. The hour is 12. We know it is 12, 10. Now what time is it? We know the hour is still 12 because that hour hand hasn't reached the 1 yet, and we can count by 5s so around the outside edge of the clock and notice that it is now 12, 30. Now what time is it? Well, now we're going to have to really count. 31, 32. 33. 12.33 is correct. Now what time is it? The hour hand is between the 6 and the 7, and the minute hand is exactly on the 6. We can count by 5s going around the outside edge, and we would know that this time is 6.30. Yes, that is correct. Now we're going to take away the minutes around the outside and see if we can do the same thing. So we can know the hour. It's between the 9 and the 10, so we know it's 9 o'clock. And we can count by 5s here to figure out that it is 9.15. You are absolutely right. If I wanted to make it 9.25, where should I move the minute hand? I need 10 more minutes, don't I? Now it's 9.25. How long until it will be 10 o'clock? Well, I can count the minutes going all the way around the clock. I can count by fives. Or I can subtract in my head because I know there are 60 minutes in an hour and 25 have elapsed. So I know there are 35 minutes left in the hour until it will be 10 o'clock. And now it's 10 o'clock. All right, let's take those training wheels off. What time is it now? If you said 3.10, you're correct. What time is it now? If you said 4.40, you are exactly correct. 40 minutes around the outside edge. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And the hour is between 4 and 5, and that makes it 4.40. You are ready to go out there, people, and show off your new time-telling ability 
Remember to keep practicing.